If you remember sometime in late 2018, there was a massive landslip on this site here. This was not the normal landslip where you have the, the mountain coming down on the road. This is one of the landslips that was a lot more technical for us to handle because what you had here is the entire road we slipped away. And if you look at the, the, the precipice down there, it's over 100 feet. Um, this posed a major challenge. We actually had to close off the Maracas Beach um, until we had to install the Bailey Bridge and try to make, make the area a little safer for the commuters in this area. It took us a while because, again, the, the technical nature of this job, um, but we're happy now that the contractor would have handed over the job. Uh, the, it took some time to actually reach here. What I was impressed with is the ministry was able to actually have the road open within a couple of days of the landslip. And today we have a, a, a new additional part of the road. If you, if you look at the, the road, it's a lot safer now. Um, and the reinforced wall that that was placed here, the, the, the technology that was used again was designed in-house by the pure unit and I'm sure you know the commuters on this side will be very happy with the, the final product coming out of this. This was a very technical landslip for us at the ministry um, and I'm happy that this morning the contractor could have handed over the, the project to us again within budget. Um, we do have a, a road paving exercise that started last year throughout Trinidad and today we have uh, uh, a segment between La Fillette and Blantyshires where the contractor, Kusal Construction, actually doing the, the, the paving up there today. But again, the road paving exercise started uh, by the last year, sometime around the middle of last year, and this is just a continuation. And I mean, we, we apologize for any inconvenience to the traveling public, but we are on a massive road reconstruction, road repaving program, and you know we hope to get most of the roads under control within the shortest possible time. In the Ministry of Works and Transport, we're responsible for the highways and, the, and, and the, the main roads. And we do assist the regional corporations um, with some of the local roads. The program consists of roads throughout Trinidad. So we'll be working in all the areas in the east, west, north, south, and in central. So, but again, everything is based on funding and we have to prioritize the roads. We cannot do every road that needs repair. But what we do, we look at the most critical roads and we do those roads first.